Hi there, welcome back to StarMade. Today we're going to be talking about factories and how to set up your automated production. When it comes to producing resources in StarMade, you're going to need to first refine your resources, then you can craft your resources, and you need a way to store in your resources. So first when we come to refining our resources, we have the microassembler, which it can turn your scrap metal and your scrap composite into full metal mesh and full crystal composites and turn your capsules into just composites or metal meshes and so normally this is not very the microassembler is normally not very useful now on the other hand the capsule refinery is used for most of your processing it will turn your raw resources you gather from your asteroids or somewhere on the planet and it will turn it into its according in material the blocks will turn into 30 capsules of themselves. The ore will turn into 5 capsules of themselves plus 10 metal mesh. The shard will create 5 capsules of themselves and 10 crystal composite. This is why you don't normally use the microassembler because you already get crystal composite and metal mesh all on their own. And so, you first need to hook up your res the resources that you gathered from your... your or mining expedition and you're going to need to put them in some sort of storage capacity or just drop them straight into your, your capsule refinery how to pull item get your capsule refinery to pull items from your storage you're gonna select it by clicking C and this will bring your orange about a orange boundary box around it to show that it's your primary selection then you go walk over and you're gonna click V on the storage this will be your secondary selection. And now, we should have things pulling out and going into here. Now say we want our, our storage to be our main primary storage where everything's going to be. What we're going to do is we're going to change it to auto pull, we're going to add all, and we're going to just hold down 9 for both of these selections. But as we see, I've already done this, that way so it will just go ahead and work for us. And so, now, what we're going to have is every we're no longer going to have to worry about the maximum capacity in the capsule refinery because everything's going to be refined here and as we just seen pulled out and put back into our storage so now everything's being stored in the cargo container as well now cargo containers will keep have a certain amount of storage as well but you can also add a cargo space to them so when you're inside a build block or in any build mode, you can click C and you can click V on the cargo spaces. Now cargo space is not normally visible and you can also walk through it as well. This is why you know, you're going to need to be in a build mode as well. You cannot place them if you are not in a build mode and you cannot select them when you're not in a build mode. Additionally, we come to the factory components. Now, the factories, there's three stages, basic, standard, and advanced. The basic will produce basic uh, resources. When we go through here, we have a scroll menu and we can see all the basic things we can produce. Let's say we want to produce gray armor. So gray, gray basic armor. And so we can click the recipe and we can see what it takes. One metal mesh, one crystal composite, and one Ferdkeen capsule. Back in the asteroid video, I told you that the Ferdkeen is going to be a very important part for making your armor. As you can see in the rest of the progression of this, you'll see why Ferdkeen is very important. So we, it takes one Ferdkeen to make your basic armor. Now, as you can see, it's not making anything right now. It's because it's not pulling from our storage. It doesn't have capsules or com composites to grab. So if we click C, go over to our storage, click V, we can see it pull it out and create a basic armor. Now additionally, we can also have multiple of these as well. And so with the standard, we're going to try and create the standard gray armor. So gray standard armor. V recipe, so we need the gray basic armor and we need a standard hardener. 
we get the standard hardener from a standard factory. And we get the basic from our, our, our uh, basic factory. So what we're going to need to do is set up another standard factory. And so this is going to grab from our storage, and here is going to grab from our storage. Now the storage is going to grab from all of these as well. So now in here in the second standard, we're going to need to set it to do hardeners. So the standard hardener, now it's creating our standard hardeners, and this is now capable of getting our gray standard armor, because the standard hardeners going to the storage are gray basic armors going to the storage, and now everything's going back into the standard factory. So now we can get standard armor, and because it's being pulled into the storage, we should now see gray standard armor in here as well, as well as our gray basic armor. But we're going to be capped out here, and we're not going to see any more input. It's going to be capped out about 13 because we're only making so many. Now, if we were to say, give it some um, uh, factory enhancers, we're going to produce four at a time because it's going to produce it itself, plus one, plus one, plus one. So plus three, plus one equals four. We're going to get uh, four factories. So four blocks are going to be producing, essentially four basic factories are being produced at, at the same exact time, but in the space of one, because we added factor enhancers to it. Now if we go to make an advanced, the gray basic arm, the gray advanced armor, we're going to need the gray standard armor and an advanced hardener. How do we get advanced hardeners? is we need a furred king ingot and the metal mesh. How we get furred king ingots is we need a basic factory. So our setup is going to look closer to this. So it's going to need to pull from both of these. So everything should be wired up correctly. This is linked to that to the storage. This one's linked to the storage. This one's linked to the storage. A storage is linked to all of them again. So now here we need the hardener. As we'd see in the hardener, we need the furred king ingot. And here we can make our furred king ingot. So now we're making furred king ingots here to make the advanced hardeners here. So we can make the advanced block here. So we have our gray standard armor. And soon we'll be having our uh, advanced hardeners popping in here. So here's our advanced hardener. And it, it should be going into here pretty soon. Gray advanced armor. And so now, in here, after this pull tick, the crafting tick and the pull tick are the different sizes. So now we have gray advanced armor. And so you, it's a giant balancing act on how much do we need. So it's going to take, just to make one advanced armor, it's going to take six factories to make one advanced armor block. And if you want it colored, you're going to need an additional one to color it. How to color them is you're going to need the basic. So since we have basics being produced here, we'll click C, V on more of them. And now we can grab from here We'll grab from our storage, that way so it can get a hold of the gray basic armor. And our storage is going to want to grab a hold of from here as well. Now let's say we want red. So red basic armor. And now we need red paint. So we're going to need another one to make our red paint. So now we can create paint by taking our cinnabar capsules, and cinnabar is going to be our block type when we go back to our different blocks. So cinnabar creates us cinnabar capsules. So let's go ahead, I'll go and get some cinnabar. All right, and now that we have some cinnabar put in here, it's going to be going into the finery. And now we can see up here, 120, 30. So we have cinnabar being created. Now we can make red paint. The red paint is going to be mixed in with the 
the uh, gray standard armor. And we should be able to get red basic armor in here now. And so it is C and V, and now we can start pulling. Red basic armor is being created, and so that's how you paint them. So say if you wanted the standard one, we'll change here to the red, red standard armor. Now it's, it's going to need red basic armor. So all these tiers are just going to be building it off of the previous one. And it's in the basic stage that you color it and get what you want, and then you upgrade them throughout the different tiers. And now I'll be going over to a spreadsheet to show you exactly all of the crafting recipes that there are in the game. Alright, now over here in the spreadsheet, we have everything collapsed by the factory type, so it's all in tabs. So say you want to see what stuff was in the basic factory, click over here on what was a plus sign, and now we can see everything there is for the basic factories, all the crafting recipes in that block. And so, let's say we want to make that gray basic armor. So gray basic armor takes one metal mesh, one crystal composite, and one Furkin capsule. So as you see, metal mesh, crystal composite, capsules, any other blocks that might be needed or other things needed to make the crafting recipe will be in these two columns. Anything that's considered as a painting in substance would be in here. And any category by which of what you're trying to search so that way you could just uh, look it up directly, and they're all alphabetized by category, and they're all sorted by tabs from their factory type. And then their names, of course, are also in alphabetical order after the category. So that's how everything would be sorted. In the spreadsheet, it'll be, there'll be a link in the description to this spreadsheet, so you can have a look at all the crafting recipes yourself. Everything is laid out relatively simply. So all like the carved stuff, you have the, all the different capsules, as we see like Cinnabar and Deloom and stuff. Those blocks that we got from the asteroid, they're going to be just simply directly converted into their card version. So seeing one block in the capsule refinery will turn into 30 capsules, while 30 capsules will turn into the carved block. And so it's a one-to-one -one ratio, and the carved things are more expensive in the shop than the raw material. So by processing it, you can end up getting more money. And so that's how a reason, that's another reason why you will want to process things. Plus it's also cheaper to process things than to buy them as well. And so we can see like the salvage computer, only 100 metal mesh and 100 crystal composite, but computers in the shops are expensive. And so this thing's cheap itself just to make, but it's gonna cost quite a bit of money in the shop. And so we have all the factory components, the basic factory, just 10 metal mesh, 10 crystal composite. So things are relatively simple to get a hold of and easy to understand. And everything's laid out directly for you in the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet will be in the description for you to go and view as well. And in a tutorial on how to get started in StarMade, I'll show you how to get your first factory set up. But in this tutorial, it's simply just crafting and how to get crafting set up. And so as you've seen how linking everything together, you can also link logic circuits together to these blocks and you can end up having a lot more button pressing for you and done for you. So you can set up like things like control panels, but I'll show how to do things like that in a logic circuit or a logic tutorial. For now, this is just simply how to understand crafting and Everything you'll need is going to be inside and, uh, this spreadsheet, and it will be available to you. Links in the description. Have a nice day.